speaking of the music business, Mr. Benali has another anniversary this year, along with being the drummer of Quiet Riot for 30 years, and that is that you've been the band's manager for 20 years. What, uh, gosh, I got so many questions about that. I'll, I'll try and articulate it in an organized fashion. I guess my first question is, from the time you started being the manager, and please tell us what the epitus of that was, but what has changed in the music industry the most? If you could pick one or two things that has changed the most, if anything, in those 20 years, what would it be and how is it you became their manager? Well, how it all started for me is um, Kevin Dubrow asked me if I would take on the duties of managing the band. This was in uh, January of 1993. Um, and it was, uh, it was a difficult time because at that point in time, rock bands like ourselves were not exactly the most popular things to do. Um, but the reason he asked me to do it is because he had been unhappy with previous managers that the band had had, but also because he knows um, attention to detail with me is everything. I'm very dedicated. I don't play video games. You know, with me, it, there's music and then there's business. And I take care of both equally and as much as I can. But I, you know, I went from, from just starting that being an organized person to negotiating every record deal we've done since 1993 to date. You know, the videos, everything all the way down the line. I mean, I even book flights and hotels. I'm one-stop shopping when it comes to Choir Riot. That's awesome. I have to probably presume that you enjoy that position. Well, I, I enjoy it because I know that if something doesn't work out, it wasn't because I wasn't paying attention or I dropped the ball or I left the responsibility to someone else. But I pride myself in taking care of business. And I'm, I'm like fastidious enough where Choir Riot did a show in New Jersey on a Friday, then went to Seoul, Korea and did a show in Korea on Saturday, flew back to JFK on Sunday and drove to upstate New York and did a show and the timeline when we checked into the hotel I had half an hour to go to my room take a shower and walk up on stage so I booked a hotel that was right next to the venue so I could open up the window and I could hear the intro CD while I was taking a shower so I knew what song I love it. and we we got in the little golf carts and drove up to the back of the stage exactly two minutes before downbeat that is some serious logistical coordination I mean that's that's multitasking at a whole new level. Well, genius or crazy? You tell me. Are there any differences? Let me get back to you. <laughs>